Good afternoon, you beautiful people. So today I'm bringing a little bit of a different video to you. It's not as long as the, the last one, if you've not seen that already. I've done a just under a one hour video on sort of FBA in the UK from start to finish. So if you've not watched that, I do recommend that you go and check that first. Any questions that you've got, just leave in the comments section below as usual. And yeah, I'll get right on into it. So this time, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over how to get your items from yourself to Amazon's warehouse as cheaply as possible. But not only as cheaply as possible, making sure that you're doing it in the most efficient way and making sure that all of your stuff gets there a-okay. The importance of making sure that your stuff gets there absolutely fine, undamaged, is the fact that if, let's say, customer B gets a, an item delivered from you, and it's slightly damaged in transit and it's not quite the condition that you stated it as when you listed it, there's a possibility that you're gonna get negative feedback and unfortunately probably not be able to get it removed, which can negatively affect the sales on your account and that's definitely not what you want. So yeah, this video will go into the details such as the boxes that I use, the dimensions, the sizes, I'll even post a link to the boxes that I buy which are also surprisingly from Amazon Prime. We'll also go into how much it costs me, with which couriers I use, whether it's me dropping them off, whether it's a courier coming to collect them from me. And I've sort of perfected the ratio, I think now. I've sent all sorts of different sized boxes, weights of boxes, anywhere from sort of 10, 15 kilos, all the way up to 30. So yeah, I think I've pretty much perfected the ratio to uh, make sure that you get the maximum amount of inventory to Amazon with the least amount of spend, but also making sure that they get there a-okay. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video, let's go! Okay guys, so this is one of the standard size boxes that I use to send my books up to Amazon, or anything that I've got, board games or anything. The size of these boxes are 47 centimeters by 32 centimeters by 32 centimeters. As you can see, this one's all packaged up, ready to go plenty of space in there. What I find is with most mixed books, these do fit just up to 25 kilos of books quite nicely, usually nice and snug, not much sort of space to fill inside. And I'm just gonna grab this. If I do need to fill anything inside, um, I tend to use this. So this is like really, really tough, thick like craft paper. So what I tend to do is I'll roll it out, get a nice big like arm's length of it, rip it off and then just scrunch it. One hand to the left, one hand to the right, and it like makes the, the surface area and volume of it a little bit more. And then I'll just use that to just pack in the corners just to make sure none of the books are sort of getting getting squashed or moving around or anything like that. So yeah, I just grab these. To be honest, these are a pound from the pound shop. I've got plenty on it. Usually I probably only use like a quarter of one for, for each box, depending on how much space there is in there. But yeah, super good value and uh, they protect your books from rattling around inside. I'll put the link to these boxes in the description below uh, so you can go and buy them. Off the top of my head, I can't remember how much they are. I want to say that they're £12 for 15 but I'll, I'll double check that. These are the boxes that I use. Yeah, so these boxes are really, really thick. I recommend anyone use these, they sort of double walled. Yeah, super, super strong. These aren't going to fall apart. Get your books in these, get them to Amazon. Go. Okay guys, so these are a few boxes that I've just got ready to go up to FBA. And they just need the heavy package labels on, the FBA labels on, and the shipping labels on. I've left them off just for the sake of the video for now, as I'd have to blur it out. It's way too much hassle. Um, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, basically each one of these boxes is packed to the brim, up to, normally I pack them to just under 25 kilos. So usually 24.8 kilos to allow for sort of uh, all the labels and things to go on just in case, any sort of tape that you need to put on, all adds weight. But yeah, I find the sweet spot is 25 kilos for how much the courier's cost and things like that. So just write that down, just under 25 kilos in these boxes is what you need to be aiming for. Basically just to get the best shipping rates. So now what I'll do is I'll go over the pricing of how you get these really, really good prices for the courier and the shipping and whatnot. So I'll just grab the tablet. Right, okay, so the website that I use for this in the UK is parcel to go I'll put a link to them in the description below, but I'll just go through it very quickly with you now. So here you just sort of put to where it's going from, where it's going to, you can ignore that for now, it doesn't actually make any difference. So we'll add 25 kilos as the weight for this. Click next, 
and just loads of some options now. So really, where this differs is whether you can get the parcels collected from you or whether you can drop, you need to drop off the parcels somewhere else. The reason that I say need is because I know that a lot of people that are watching do have full-time jobs. They're not in the full-time hustle yet and therefore it is a lot easier sometimes to drop the parcels off to post office or somewhere else on your way to work and you don't necessarily have the time to wait in Monday to Friday 9 till 5 for a courier to come and collect them. If you do, great. Um, it's actually a slightly cheaper service, would you believe, with a different courier. I use two different couriers. The two different couriers that I use is I use UK Mail if I want them to collect my parcels and I use Parcel Force if I'm going to drop them off. So we'll just go through them now. So with collection, you can see here, UK Mail, that's including £20 of insurance, which I highly recommend you take out each time. It makes it £8.63, including VAT. That is a next day delivery service with UK Mail, and they will come and collect it from you Monday to Friday, 9 till 5. So say if you've got 10 boxes, they'll come to your house, collect all 10 boxes, you don't have to do any moving around, no carting things to your car anymore. £8.63. £8.63 for 25 kilo box full of your books, including the £20 protection. Like I say, I always take the £20 protection out just because it's only a few pence difference. And if the box ever did go wrong, in all honesty, with how much my books usually cost me, it's probably only £20 worth of sourcing of books that I've lost. However, if you did lose them, obviously you're looking £400, £600 sometimes worth of books. So yeah, definitely insure them. At least you'll get your money back on what you've paid for them if they did go missing. I think I've been quite lucky and I've never actually had anything go missing yet. So yeah, fingers crossed, all good. We'll go into the drop off service now. So with the drop off service, I tend to use Parcel Force because Parcel Force are the only one that you can drop off a parcel up to 25 kilos, surprisingly. As you can see, the price is only a few pence more than it being collected from UK Mail. So if you can get it collected and it is easier for you, then it's probably best to do it that way. Also, it is worth noting that this is 48 hour delivery service. So they do a 24 hour delivery service as well. But I always tend to go with 48 if I'm dropping it off. Parcel Force again, have always been very good. £8.82 and Parcel Force, you can either drop them off at their depots, which to be honest, are few and far between. However, you can also drop off your parcels all labelled up, ready to go at any post office in the UK, which I think is pretty amazing. So what I tend to do is, if I'm busy, I'll load a couple of boxes into the car, buy this service, drop them off to the post office, drop them off at the post office on my way out, and I don't have to wait in all day. And like I say, the difference really is £1 and pence if you'd rather have it delivered in 24 hours rather than 48. So I'll, I'd leave that up to you guys. But yeah, these are the delivery services that I use. Just to go over the bits and bobs again, the size boxes that I'm using are 47 centimeters by 32 centimeters by 32 centimeters which i'll leave a link in the description below so you can buy those and it's parcel to go that i use two different courier services up to 25 kilo boxes i'll also put the details in the um, description below along with a link so that you can go and purchase your own shipping from the couriers on that website and yeah they're my top tips Usually comes out a lot cheaper than it does either through Amazon or through any other service that you seem to be using at the moment. So yeah, a few of you might know the quote behind me, Feed the Beast. It's not about Minecraft, this isn't a Minecraft tutorial video, sorry for the 14 year olds that can turn off now. So what it's about is it's making sure that you keep consistently sending stock to Amazon. I'm not entirely sure with their algorithms and things, whether it does affect anything, but you do notice a difference the more and more inventory that you send in. But not only that, how regularly you send it in. We tend to send uh, as many boxes a week, the same time every week as possible, and that works for us. What I definitely would recommend is do not sleep on stock. If you've got stock and it's enough to fill a box, fill that box, tape it up, package it up, send it away to Amazon. Don't leave it there for sort of two or three weeks before you send it with two or three of the boxes. If it's there, it's not selling, Get it gone, top tip. 
So yeah, I'd like to take a moment just to say thank you for all the messages that you've been sending me on Instagram, on YouTube, all the comments that you've made, everyone that's liked my last video. I honestly really appreciate it. Now, just watch out for uh, new content every Friday. See you there. If there's any way I can get 25 likes on this video, that would be amazing. Yeah.